Hello guys, in this video we will see the difference between a no slip boundary and a slip boundary. In ANSYS Fluent, we have a boundary condition called specified shear boundary condition. We can use that for slip boundary condition. Let us see how that works. Let's open ANSYS Workbench now. And now let's drag and drop a fluid flow fluent system. Right click the geometry and create a new design modeler geometry. Now the design model has opened. Click the XY plane and click sketching. To make the plane normal to the view plane, click the Z. Now go to the units and change to centimeters. Select polyline. and let us create a stepped geometry let me give some arbitrary dimensions now we have created a sketch let's convert the sketch into a plane go to concept surface from sketches Select any one entity of the sketch and click apply and click generate. Now we have created the geometry that is required for our sample study. Now close the design modeler and double click the mesh. Once the meshing model is opened, we can name the boundaries. Let us assume this as the inlet. and this says outlet and here we have two steps let's assume this wall as a no slip wall and let's take this as a slip wall uh, by default all the walls will be defined as no slip walls and we have to specifically define this wall as a slip wall in ANSYS Fluent that is specified shear wall. This is no slip wall and this is our slip wall. This is the inlet and outlet is here. Now click the mesh and let us provide some 20 millimeters as element size and click generate. Let us have some fine mesh over the boundaries that we are interested in. So let me select these two boundaries and click insert and give refinement as three okay since we are focusing on these two walls this is no slip wall and this is specified shear wall uh, we have uh, created a very fine boundaries boundary near the wall now we can close this meshing module and get into the fluent for that right click and update the mesh and once it is updated double click the setup now the mesh is updated I am double clicking the setup to open the ANSYS Fluent ok now the ANSYS Fluent is opened with the mesh that we have created go to materials and expand the fluid double click the R go to fluent database and import the water liquid from the last click copy and close it now we can see the water liquid in this material section now go to cell zone condition we have only one zone so let's define this zone as water liquid and click apply now the zone as it as water and go to the boundary conditions as i said all the walls will be defined as no slip walls by ANSYS Fluent. Now we can open the no slip wall that we have defined that is this wall and by default that is defined as no slip. And I'll close it. Go to the slip wall, double click that and slip wall is actually in Fluent we can specify that as a specified shear wall. So if it is zero, if the value of 
uh, shear stress is zero along x and y that means zero shear wall which means that all the fluid particle can slip over that here slip is allowed that means fluid particle can slip over that wall without any friction now click apply and close it to the inlet and specify a very small velocity click apply close double click the run calculation let's give 100 iterations and click calculate now the calculation is complete now let's go to the velocity contours go to graphics contours contours of velocity and click display now you can see here the blue means the velocity is zero here so the velocity is brought to brought down to zero at these boundaries here you can see all this wall this wall is a no, no slip wall this wall is a no slip wall this wall is also a no slip wall as we defined only this wall is a no shear wall that is that means the fluid can slip over that so that's why we can see the fluid particle because of the velocity profile that is created by this bend some velocity drop is there however in the wall the no slip boundary condition is not applied we cannot see any velocity difference between the wall and the fluid here this is a no slip wall and this is a specified shear wall with slip boundary condition so here the fluid particle can slip over the wall very easily here the boundary layer development is very clearly visible that means the fluid particle cannot slip over the wall so the zero bound zero velocity is applied over the all the elements that is nearer to the wall here it is not so and we can see the differences here hold this tutorial is helpful if you have any clarification or doubts please feel free to contact me thank you don't forget to subscribe